Hi, yeah, I am at a baseball game, and bam, he catched it. And I mean, look at his face, okay? He's not even stressed, excited. He was like, ah, another day, another baseball. What up, guys? Calvin here, and today we're gonna be looking at people who stay ice cold no matter what. Okay, so it's gonna be a pretty exciting video. Be sure to get this video a thumbs up right now. Let's get this video to maybe 100 likes. That would be amazing. That would be the new goal for the video. And yeah, let's get right in with the show. University police can be the most merciless. Had to park here very late for the test. Please don't give me a ticket. He still got a ticket. And it says, hope you feel. Man, that police officer is destroying this kid's life. Education is important, you know. Why would you write here a ticket? He had to take the test. Seagull just doesn't care. Man, look at this seagull. Just a savage. Standing on top of another seagull's head. I mean, if I was that seagull on the bottom, I would beat the heck out of that seagull. That's not right. I brought in a cake for my nephew's class on his birthday. His response? Why for? I don't even like any of these kids. Man, this kid, he's being like real honest. He was probably like, I don't like none of them, okay? So just bring the cake home, and when I go home, I might eat it all by myself. Not gonna share a single piece. This guy decided he didn't want to pay the fine, so he decided to change the wheel by himself. Wow, holy crap. This guy is probably saving like a thousands of dollars right now. Changing wheel costs maybe 300, but that fine I bet is like a thousand dollars. So he saved probably like 700 something. This guy dressed up as his mother and tried to get his phone back. Oh my goodness, when I first saw that picture, I thought he was a girl. The makeup, the fake wig, the glasses, and even the dress, and then the fake titties. Man, he's on another level right there. Is this even real life right now? This kid is going to places right now. Dating one girl and holding another girl's hand in kindergarten. I can't even find a girlfriend in high school and this kid in kindergarten is having two girlfriends. Man, when this kid goes to college, he probably already have like five girlfriends at one time. I went to my girlfriend's house and saw her new boyfriend drinking water from the fridge I bought for her. So I took the fridge. My man, bravo, you gotta let them hoes go, you know, and bring that fridge back. That fridge probably cost like a thousand dollars or something. I am so glad you can just pick it up and leave the house. So this kid and my history class fell asleep. My teacher stopped the class, got down on the floor and tied his shoes together this teacher should get the funniest teacher award i mean when he wake up and try to walk out the class he just gonna fell down and feel so embarrassed and everybody gonna laugh at him and you know what this kid will never sleep in class again it is not what i meant when i say to my son it was too nice outside to play video games man this kid is a genius right now he's playing some video games enjoying some fresh oxygen and some new sunlight life is just great that is certainly one way to end the relationship hey stephanie it is over i got a new bae her name is hofany hofany you know i met her in the club my high school teacher put himself on the cover of the force and read it on the plane while he sit in the first class for the first time he probably the coolest guy in the plane right now. He'd be like, hey guys, this is me on the Forbes cover. Just wanna let you guys know, if you guys wanna take a picture, let me know. I'd be glad to take a picture. If you can't do anything about it, just relax and enjoy the view. That's a good idea. Literally, the car is sinking and that car might worth maybe $10,000 or $5,000. It is sinking like the Titanic. And you're like, mm. Nothing I can do, just enjoy the view. This man is using a driver's license that he drew on a sheet of paper. Wow, I don't know if this man is a genius or just dumb. But at least I gotta give him credit though, he used a real photo because portraits, they are really hard to draw. This guy won the $1 lottery, but he also wanted the 15 minute fame to last. 
I mean, where can you use that dollar? Well, Dollar Tree, that's the place I can only think of barely hanging on. Maybe like three strings attached. But he still gotta go home and play some Fortnite, doesn't have time to go to Walmart and buy a new backpack, you know? It's the driver of the bus that is on fire. Well, as you can see, I'm eating a sandwich right now. Let me finish that sandwich first and then I will save the uh, bus from exploding and all that stuff. But the sandwich is more important than the bus right now. How did he bump into the door? Man, I hope the insurance just covered that stuff. If it don't, at least you're driving like a really really cool car. My teacher left the room doing a test. So we all started sharing answers. Then I look up and she was staring right at me. Holy crap, this teacher is so evil. Everybody thought that she left the room, but nope, she's up there in the ceiling watching you guys. Whoever cheated, she will already know. In case a dog doesn't allow to walk in the store. Man, this dog is a ninja. How are you gonna stand on the shoulder for so long? Like the shoulder is probably like a little bit of space to stand on. How is the dog not even like scared or afraid of it, you know? Don't forget that you might be photographed. Yeah, look at that D-Way. He was like, alright, that's the best spot right there. Somebody take a snap. Alright, let me post that on Instagram. Spend 500 fixing that scrap? Nah, I have a better idea. This kid graduated the art college of New York or something. Look at him. A small scratch and he made a bigger scratch, but it's an art now. If this car should be in the museum right now, I want to ignore everyone like this guy is ignoring Ara Stark. Man, this guy doesn't even know who she is. Come on man, you just missing out on life. Sometimes you gotta wake up and look at some TVs or movies. Nothing can make you miss lunch, not even a giant storm. This guy's life is literally on danger. Look at the scene behind him. The house literally just falls down and he's still eating lunch. That lunch must be really really good. The Valentine's Day gift nobody wants, not even me. That is one of the hardest heartbreak ever. I like you as a friend. Man, my dude, you are stuck in the friend zone for the rest of your life. I carry a truck in my car for 10 months just to do this. And yesterday was my day. Yeah. I suck at parking, so I gotta be real careful not to park like this. Left my window down at Walmart and came back to a slice missing. Ain't nobody just gonna walk by and stare at that pizza, man. They gonna take one and enjoy it themselves. Mom just love personalizing her kid's birthday cake. Dave, you suck, okay? <laughs> that would be embarrassing though. What if you got like five kids at your birthday party and your cake says, Dave sucks. The roommate move out and left this. Man, if this ever happened to me, I would take a trash bag, put it all inside the trash bag, and put it in the roommate's car. Okay, when he drove out, he gonna take all his trash with him. He just brought a desk on a subway and started a meeting. I mean, that meeting might worth like a million dollars or something, so you gotta do what you gotta do. My doctor prescribed me a C for my stress. Man, when I first saw this note, I thought he was writing Chinese or something. No, it's English. I don't even know how to read it. Marriage is all about sharing almost everything, okay? It says you already ate yours. Go away. If you secretly took a bite of my cake, I'm going to find you and I'm going to make you pay for it, okay? Wife is out packing my own lunch this week. Genius. It's fast, it's tasty, and it only takes like maybe one minute to pack your lunch, okay? This is awesome. I should do that all the time. When your grandma has the seat next to you on the plane, your grandma basically brought a Christmas dinner on the plane. He was like, anybody want some gravy? Some rolls? We got, I got some turkey. Hey, what about the flight attendants? You want some turkey too? Successful birth, gonna need a professional catcher. I mean this, I don't know if this is a good thing or not. I mean your wife is literally having a contraction and you are like, baby, just go hard as you can. This woman who was walking around New York City with this label on her shoe is now my wife. 
Yeah, it says my dog threw it. I guess that's one of her favorite pair of shoes and she did not want to throw it away. That's one way to fix it. Next time if I have a hole on my shirt, I'm gonna be like, my dog threw it, put a label on it. That's what you call fashion right there. A life hat for all travelers. That just look weird. Her suitcase look really, really weird. If you sell that suitcase on eBay for $1, Still nobody will want it. I mean, it's a face in there, man. When the deadline is coming, but you behave like everything is fine. Yeah, the piano is literally on fire, but he still had to practice the piano for tomorrow's concert. I asked the kid not to eat all the strawberries. Hey, at least they listened. I mean, there's like maybe 50 strawberries in the box. I, I guess he was so nice enough to leave one of them for her mom. In his defense, I did say put it in the bathroom. Man, yeah. This guy is taking the instructions literally. And he is not wrong, put it in the bathroom, then said word, but just put it in the bathroom so the instruction wasn't clear enough. This man is armed and very dangerous. Don't run from this cop, okay? If you try to run, he will take out the banana and peel it and throw it right in front of you and you will slip on that banana. Got the domino guy to buy me McDonald's on the special instruction. This is one nice delivery guy, man. Hopefully, you'll give him a really good tip. The very moment you need to squeeze your fingers tightly as possible. I just hope that no one just grabbed the phone of his hand and run away. It will be impossible to get it back. I mean, you are literally inside the bus. They are giving a presentation to 100 people with the help of one laptop. Just one tiny laptop. I don't know how the people in the back gonna see it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. The fortune cookie says a new romance is in the future and my wife is not impressed. Look at her face, she was like, what kind of fortune is that? We are never gonna go to this place again. Alright guys, this is about the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my other videos in this channel and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. So yeah, this is Kelvin and I'll see you guys next video. Thank you.